Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to do the Astro projection effect. However, it's not going to be identical to the Marvel Studio one because first of all, I don't have all the expensive equipment. Second of all, you know, I'm not Spider-Man and I don't have a Doctor Strange beside me. You know, I cannot be a Spider-Man, but I can still be, say, a Dinosaur Man as you can tell from the screen. You know, let's pretend this is Doctor Strange and, you know, she's punching me out of the body. First of all, please remember to subscribe to my channel and like this video. Your support is my biggest motivation. First of all, you have to film a few clips. So film the first clip with the background as plain as possible and jump. That's the first clip that you want. Why do you have to film in a background that's as plain as possible? Very simple. You have to do a very simple key year effect. Hopefully you guys can also find a gigantic wall that's painted in either green or any other color alone. For the second clip, I filmed myself being punched, you know, in a slow-mo. And this dinosaur man is being punched and is experiencing extra projection effect. And this thing is filmed in slow-mo 240p. If you don't have a slow-mo camera, it's okay. But just remember to find a background that's as simple as possible. And you can always slow down in the Final Cut Pro. Use the optical flow effect, which I'm gonna show you later. And let's get to the actual editing part. Alright, out of these two clips, I only need a middle portion. For example, the first clip, I just need me jumping in the mid-air, which is very, very short. So first, I'm gonna just cut this out and delete the slacks. Secondly, for me to be punched, I only need the mid-air portion as well. So I'm just gonna cut off the mid-air portion. As you've noticed that myself jumping in the mid-air is much much shorter than the one being punched and in slow-mo. I'm gonna show you a technique. First of all, press Command and R to summon this speed bar and drag this thing as long as possible until it covers the entire duration of my slow-mo clip. And then select this one and go to Modify, Retime, video quality and select optical flow and it will start to render just wait for a while and once you hit play yep it's going to look something like this secondly i'm going to add in effects so go to the effects bar and find kia and just drag this kia onto this clip above and use the one below and as you can see that this one is being, you know, sort of singled out. However, this key effect is kind of imperfect. As you see, it creates kind of like a gray shadow over the actual clip that I want. So I'm going to go back to this clip and click on sample color and select the sample color like this. To have myself in the middle purely fully isolated out something like this so that's why you need to have a background that's of a same single color and it's constant especially you have a good lighting it's going to be much much easier job to do key effect and since we don't have you know, since we don't have professional studio for this so white wall will do this is pretty much the first step you need to do and second step what well, as you can see that after I've reused the background clip it's going to be you know very clear that it doesn't have a very obvious shadow and then I'm gonna bring down the opacity of this first clip the clip above and bring it from 100% to 70% and that's not done. I'm gonna adjust the position and maybe you think that there's a glow in the middle and you don't really need this glow. Maybe you need to readjust the sample color. So unuse the background clip again and you know drag it further down. 
something like that. And then adjust the position. Obviously, if you're unsatisfied with the entire key effect, you can always you know, come to the inspector and go to the color selection and change the luma curve over here. So if the luma curve is going to be a darker shade, your object will be in a darker shade. Secondly, we need to create a duplicate for the background clip. So you press option and drag this clip upwards and then go back to the effects bar and type shape mask. So what this does is going to create a shape mask that prevents myself to have a hand sticking up quite obviously uh, to beyond the region of my body. So I'm going to drag the second clip above the rest of the clip, something like that and adjust the shape mask. Once you hit play, you know, you realize that this is kind of very unnatural movement and appearance of me jumping in the mid air. So obviously I have to increase the feather a bit. Yeah, you can increase it even further like this. So that's what I'm gonna do. So once I've increased the gear, it's going to be slightly better but obviously that's not going to be the ultimate result so i'm going to go back to the beginning of the clip and create a keyframe a position over here and scale and then go to the end of the clip and change the position to be around this place and increase the scale to say 105 107 yep and once i hit play this is what you get and before anything else i'm gonna add another effect that's called directional blur similarly you can find it in the effects tab and just drag this and put it over your clip and change your directional blur something like that and once you hit play and once you hit play, it's going to have a very blurry effect. And next step, I'm gonna go to the middle clip, press option, and drag it upwards to create a duplicate. So this time around, you know, I'm gonna create another version of me that is, you know, in the middle. So I'm going to, you know, right click and hit show video animation and you know, go to the end over here and you know just delete all the keyframes over here and voila that's the end result something similar to this and since I'm not using a very powerful Mac so I'm just gonna go with two layers with similar body movement if you are having a much better device and filming equipment Obviously, you can film a few times with different hand gestures and layer it two to three more times than this. So this creates ultimate, you know, motion blur effects that creates astral projection. At this moment, you realize that this effect is almost done. However, it does still lack the critical element of motion blur. For me, I've already created motion blur for you guys in the previous video so please you know check it out and download together with another five awesome cinematic effects tool the link will be in the description column and you can just redirect yourself to the video that i was talking to if not you can just go to the effects tab and find motion blur you know just drag this to the two clips And that's not the end. The motion blur effect has to have a specific duration, decay, amount, and mix. And I'm gonna show you the actual stats. The duration is at 0 0.99, decay 1.0, amount 0 0.9, and mix 69.33%. But if you want to have a clip that's almost the same as the one you see in the trailer, you have to select everything, press Option and G to create a compound clip, 
Oh yeah, if you want to create a fast punch and move out kind of effect, you can always create a small, you know, keyframe in the middle and to have a kind of a fast moving position change of x-axis and then move this x-axis movement very slowly so this is kind of a two tier effect so it's kind of first punch and then gradually go out and that's almost the end of the actual effects however just to bring out another minor detail you can always decrease the opacity for the second clip so at the start it's about 30 percent in the middle it's about 10 percent because it kind of you know overlap with the second effect and then when it moves out make sure to go back around 40 percent and you can see there's kind of like a layering effect and on the compound clip let's create another few set of keyframes first of all let's create a keyframe a scale and create a keyframe a position let's zoom in for scale all to 130 percent and change the y-axis to be around this negative 300 percent and go to the end of the clip and change back the scale to 100 percent and position Y axis to be zero and wait for it to render and you have your own astral projection effect that is similar to the Doctor Strange one in the new Spider-Man movie. And that's all for today's tutorial. Hope you guys enjoy this and remember to subscribe and like this video. If you are having any problem or any questions, just drop a comment under the comment section. I'll try my best to answer you. And that's all. Bye bye.